start making the body first. Make a magic ring, wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. And then insert your hook under the loops. Pull the second loop to the front and twist it. And to start round one, make one chain like this. For round one, you will have to make six single crochets into the magic ring. So to make single crochet, insert your hook into the ring here like this insert your hook into the ring and then pull the yarn now you got two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all two loops and you made one single crochet you will have to make a total of six single crochets into the magic ring When you finished making 6 single crochets, pull the tail and the ring will be closed and let's start round 2. To start round 2, make the very first stitch in the first single crochet that you made in round 1. So insert your hook into the stitch like this and then make a single crochet. And then after that, put a stitch marker on that stitch so you will not lose the start point of round 2. For the pattern of round 2, you will have to make increased stitches in each stitch. To make an increased stitch, make 2 single crochets together in same stitch. So now I'm making the second stitch in the same stitch and I made an increased stitch. Also into the next stitch, make 2 single crochets together and that will become an increased stitch. So repeat making 2 single crochets in every stitch and when you reach the start point, you will get a total of 12 stitches when you reach the start point remove the stitch marker and then make the very first single crochet of round three and then after that don't forget to put a stitch marker again After this first single crochet, you will have to make an increased stitch into the second stitch. Make two single crochets together in the same stitch. And then after that, you will have to repeat this pattern, which is one single crochet and an increased stitch for six times. So when you finished making the increased stitch, make one single crochet into the next stitch. And then after that, an increased stitch into the next stitch. Repeat this pattern for 6 times and you will get a total of 18 stitches. For round 4, we will have to make single crochets for 2 times in the first 2 stitches. Make 1 single crochet each in the first 2 stitches and then make an increased stitch into the third stitch and then after that make single crochet in the next two stitches and then make an increased stitch into the third stitch so what you have to do is that you will have to make an increased stitch in every third stitch and when you reach the third point you will get a total of 24 single crochets For round 5, you will have to make 3 single crochets. Now I finished making the first one and I'm making the second and now the third one. And then after that, make an increased stitch into the fourth stitch. So for round 5, make an increased stitch in every fourth stitch. Repeat this pattern until you reach the stud and you will get a total of 30 stitches. From round 6 to 14, you will have to make single crochet in each and every stitch without any increases. 
So now I'm making the first stitch of round 6 and then I will put a stitch marker like this. Not on top but on the side of the stitch like this. And then after that I will make one single crochet in every stitch. And when I reach this stitch marker I know that a round is finished. So just keep making single crochet in every stitch round after round until you reach round 14. So from round 6 to round 14 there will be 9 rounds in total. So here you will get like this after round 14. So this is how I count the round. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these are 9 rounds in total. And then after that put a stitch marker on the top of the stitch. And then after that let's start round 15. For round 15, make 3 single crochets first. So this is the second one. And then here comes the third one. And then after that, let's make a decrease stitch. I will show you how to make a decrease stitch in two ways. This is the first way, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull the yarn. Insert your hook into the next stitch again and pull the yarn. There will be 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. And this is a one way of making a decrease stitch. And then after that, make three single crochets. One, two, and three. For the second way of making a decrease stitch, insert your hook into the front loop, into the two front loops of the next two stitches. So here one and the second front loop and make a single crochet so pull the yarn through the loops pull the yarn through the front loops and make a single crochet this is also known as the invisible decrease stitch but just make the one that you feel comfortable and easy to make and don't forget to repeat a pattern which is 3 single crochets and a decrease stitch and when you reach the start point there will be a total of 24 single crochets. For round 16, make single crochets for 2 times and then after that make a decrease stitch. Here I am making the second stitch and then after that I will make a decrease stitch. After the decrease stitch, make 2 single crochets again and then make a decrease stitch. Repeat this pattern for 6 times and there will be a total of 18 single crochets. For round 17, make 1 single crochet and a decrease stitch and again 1 single crochet and a decrease stitch and repeat this pattern until you reach the start. And also don't forget to fill inside the body with fiber fillings or maybe with scrap yarns. For round 18, make 6 decreases. If you find difficult to make the decrease stitches, just skip one stitch and make a single crochet into the next stitch and that is also a decrease stitch. So just make the decrease stitch that you feel comfortable but make only 6 stitches in total. After making 6 stitches, leave a long tool for sewing and then grab your darning needle and sew the last round.
for me i just go in and go out the stitches like this and then after that i pull the yarn and the last round closes itself and then don't forget to weave in the ends Now let's make the ear, make the slip knot first. Insert your hook into the loop and then let's start making chains. Make two chains, one and two. And then after that, skip the first stitch and make a single crochet into the second chain after that let's make a double crochet for the double crochet yarn over insert your hook into the same stitch and then pull the yarn yarn over and pull through two and yarn over and pull through the last two loops and you made one double crochet you will have to make three double crochet together in same stitch and then one more single crochet so now I finished making three double crochets and lastly make one single crochet and then after that make a slip stitch into the same stitch if you want your ear to be sharp pinch at the top like this and then after that, leave a long toe for sewing. You will have to make two of them in total. When you finished making two ears, sew them on round five or round six. Now I will show you how to make the tail, make a slip knot, and then after that grab your hook and insert your hook into a stitch on the back of the cat here like this it will be better it is in the middle of the cat and then after that attach the loop and make 10 chains in total And then after that, skip two stitches. One, two, and then after that, make a half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the third stitch, 
pull the yarn and yarn over and pull through all three loops and you made one half double crochet repeat making one half double crochet into the rest of the chains so there will be eight half double crochets in total When you finished making 8 single crochets, make a slip stitch into the same stitch or into the next stitch like this and then cut the yarn, chain 1 and cut the yarn and don't forget to weave in the ends. For me, I just tie the two tails together and I hide them inside the body of the cat. If you want to make the cat with three colors, repeat round one to four first and then after that in round five, repeat the pattern of three single crochets and then increase stitch for two times and then after that we will change color which is written in yellow in pattern. So the yellow words mean you have to change color at those stitches. So to change color. You will have to single crochet like this, pull the yarn, so there will be two loops, don't make the complete single crochet but instead attach the loop of new color and then after that make single crochet with the new color. So according to the pattern, you will have to make three single crochets with the new color and then also an increased stitch. But in the last single crochet of the increase, we will change to white again. So here I stopped making single crochet and then I change color to white and then make three single crochets. In the third single crochet, you will have to change color. So stop making single crochet and then grab another color. I used black yarn and I will attach the black loop to it to the hook and then I will repeat the pattern which is an increase stitch so make an increase into the next stitch and then after that make three single crochets but in the third single crochet you will have to change the yarn to white color so here in the third single crochet change the color to white and then repeat the rest of the pattern which is increase stitch three single crochet and the increase for round six seven and eight make single crochet in each and every stitch but you will have to use the same color what I mean is that you will have to use white yarn on white stitches and brown yarn on brown stitches and also black yarn on black stitches but just single crochet in each stitch there will be no increases so now I'm making the brown stitches on brown single crochets and then I will change the color again to white And then here there are three stitches for white and I will make three of them one two and then I will change the color to black and then make black single crochets on the black stitches from the previous round so repeat making like this for three rounds which is round six seven and eight and then after that 
Just use white yarn for the rest of the pattern. So after round 6, 7 and 8, you will get like this brown rectangle or black rectangle. For the black, I added 2 more stitches. And now I don't need a brown color, so I'll cut it. And then, before I cut the black yarn, I will change it to white. So here, I will change to white. And then after that, I will cut the black thread. And then for the rest of the pattern of the cat's body, just use white yarn and repeat that pattern. For the ears of the three color cat, you will have to make one with brown yarn and another one with black yarn. For the tail, you can either use brown or black. Now, for the eyes, I used 3mm eyes. You can also use 5mm ones and then stick them just beside the very first round, round one. Here I use a yellow thread to add the details beside the eyes. For the nose, I use pink thread and embroider a T on the first round of the cat's body. If you want to use these cat nose as keychains, attach a keychain ring or strap on the body, on the back of the body, and you will get a mini cat keychain. For the whiskers, use thin black thread and make a V on each side of the eyes. So now the tutorial is finished. I hope you will be able to make your own mini cat loaf. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button so I can upload more of like these cute crochet tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow me on social media. And with that being said, see you all in my next video. Bye bye.